with how both these defenses are playing, the first goal is going to mean a lot. Oh, this is a three on one for the Cougars. Here we go. Here's Heitman. He'll slide it across. Chance to score! Adam Heeman pokes it home on the break, and it's one nothing Cougars. Jay, that didn't take long. Right on cue. Somebody's got to score, and we mentioned all game long, if Charleston scores first, the underdog mentality, playing with house money in somebody else's barn. The Cougars find the first momentum of the game, and we'll take another look at it here at center. Excuse me, two on one. You always want to make the pass. That defender's not going to fall down to prevent that pass from getting through, and Clayton Pierce can't get his left blocker to it, and we have a one nothing hockey game. And can't be kept by Camilla. This will go all the way down. Streaking in. Here's Williams. Williams creates a chance. Williams shot save made. Little. Graham, last night we saw the only shorthanded goal. Now another one for Fogarty. He'll drag to the back end. They score! <laughs> shorthanded goal, Kenny Fogarty. What a four check there. Last night we saw Charleston with the only shorthanded goal of the tournament that we've seen. That one comes to bite him in the butt. Charleston gives up the second shorthanded goal of this tournament. The goal by Liberty, so. Uh oh. Here's a two on one shorthanded. Noel and Smiley. Smiley cuts in. Smiley pass across. No, he scores! I'm telling you what, Graham, two shorthanded goals by this Liberty player. It's almost like if you're Liberty, go get in the penalty box so you can keep scoring goals. What a, what a great two on one execution there by the Flames. We'll see Noel drop it off to Smiley. Smiley's going to maybe get a little wider than legs, but nice saucer with the backhand. And then Noel puts it in forehand right past Dylan for their second, I repeat, second shorthand goal of this period. Not quite. Klein for Campbell. Campbell gets all the way in. Campbell sends a shot. They score! Fogarty again! That was all Jarrell Campbell right there. He circled the track with the puck, centered it up to Fogarty for the Flames' his third goal of the evening. Their first even strength goal of the game makes it a 3-1 contest with just over 10 and a half minutes to go. Campbell with his speed gets all the way in. Had them thinking they were going for the wraparound and Fogarty with a great angle to the slot just slides it home. Easiest goal that he may ever have. I think Fogarty just came right out of the box and dove right to that back post and into the zone, they'll take the puck. Nice stick check from Chamberlain, and smart not to pinch that time Donnelly. Here comes Cattell, sends it to Campbell in his skates. Cross back door, they score! Fogarty the hat trick! What a sequence. We just talked about it. Coastal trying to get chippy, unable to lay a body on anybody, and Liberty just makes it pay tic-tac-toe passing. Here's Campbell. You get Campbell again with his second straight assist over to Fogarty. That duo has scored the last two for Liberty. Chance still for the Flames. Dunn fights off a check from Parks. Dunn, his pass broken up, but Fortuno gets it anyway. Fortuno deflected in front. Rebound chance. Still with Pescarella scores! The Liberty wave just keeps on coming. Team in white. Nothing's going to stop that offense right now. Carlson, you might want to take a timeout. This is, you've been taking all water for about 10 minutes now, giving up two goals in this, excuse me, three goals in this period. Pascarella's first goal of the season might have been a dagger. This puck's just going to sit there, and Pascarella's going to find it. Little cannot, and Pascarella, as you mentioned, what a time for his first goal of the season. And now Free for Tick sends it back deep, and the extra attacker is out for. College of Charleston, this shot all the way down, and it's on goal, they score! Fogarty gets a fourth. Have a day, number 25 in white, Kenny Fogarty, junior from Old Bridge, New Jersey, 27 points coming into the weekend. 20 games played, eight, only eight goals. So he scored as many goals in tonight's game as he did in, excuse me, I will take the average 10 games this season for the Liberty Flames. Half a season total coming into the weekend. Scored tonight. Four for number 25 in white. Have a night. Kenny All Fogarty. the way down the ice. Two high-flying offenses. Liberty just more successful on the scoreboard tonight. 
Here's Ross, his shot. Oh, that'll leak through, they score! Cattell gets the tally on that one. And now it's seven to one on the power play. If you're that may have been tipped in by Klein. If you're Charleston, this clock just can't move fast enough. And I, yeah, Klein heads to the bench first. Christian Klein, the junior from Marysville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, get a look at it here. That shot came from the corner, and Klein does get a deflection on it to send it in the near side. That shot came from the corner and Cattell, so the assist going to Ross and Cattell. And he'll, he'll take a hit and fall to the ice, but now on the stick of Spuler, this game will end. That'll do it here in Lynchburg. And it's all over now. The Flames advancing to the championship game for the second straight year. They take down the Cougars in the College of Charleston, seven to one the final. Graham, this game was the scoreboard does not really indicate how close this game was. It was 0-0 after the first period. Charleston played well defensively for the first 35 minutes or so, and then Liberty, the floodgates just opened. Started with the two shorthanded goals for the Flames, and Liberty took it from there and went in this game 7-1. And that'll do it for us here in Lynchburg at the LaHaye Ice Center tonight. 7-1, the number one seeded Flames moving on to the championship game. Their opponent decided next, ECU versus Coastal Carolina.